Whoa! Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That is your friendly neighborhood slip gator here hanging out today doing stuff and i'm also doing things back in green hell ladies and gentlemen thanks for joining me welcome back to the mystery of green hell yes that's right there's so many things for us to know there's so many things for us to learn and in the last episode we made a lot of progress we finally got our base built uh two episodes ago then we did a little bit of forging and we made this bad ombre right here we got our metal spear. Super unbelievable and amazing. <gasps> Look how good it is. All right, so we did that, but then we started doing a little bit of exploration. We found uh, an airstrip. We found climbing gear. That led us from this area here over to this area here, over to the airstrip. Wait, that the climbing gear. We scuba dove down inside, around here, climbed down, down over there, and then we found our way over to this area here. And now we found this thing. I don't even know what it's called. Some sort of a thing. Um, and we're learning a little bit about more about the story and what's going on. So let's pop back inside of here and take a look. I think we've done the reading. Dude, there's tea. There's like tea in here for days. I keep harvesting it to get the tea bags out. And I get a bunch of cans. I don't think... I don't know. Dude, in order to get from here all the way back to our main base, that is a that is far. That is a long way. So I don't even know if we'll ever end up going back there. Especially stupid after we built the amazing base that we built. So, uh, we found an audio recording. What is this guy over here? Order 42. Last transport. 1200 UTC Thursday. H Omega Easy Delta. Oh, more. Dude, more stuff and things. There's a stick. There's another note. Due to problems with connectivity, all further reports are to be recorded as audio logs. Reports must contain a number, the name of the person recording it, and location. There is no requirement regarding the number of reports. It should be adjusted to any developments. Audio logs will be collected once a week. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So, the, another map. Dude, another map? You've got to be kidding me. Okay. So, here's where we are right now. Actually, I think we're, I don't think we're on this island. I think we're south of there a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, no. Is this where we are? Right there. That's Omega. Alpha 1. No, Lambda 1? I can't tell if that's an A or whatever it is. Okay, hold on a second here. I'm a little bit confused as to where we are. Okay. Scuba through there. Climbed down here. Came out the cave. Came south down into this area. Alrighty. Dude, there's something over this area. Something over in this area. And there's something over here I don't think we've found yet. This is where we need to take uh, ayahuasca to, in order to have hallucinations to get us through the door area there. I don't think we've been over here yet either. All right. So, geez, Louise, that's a lot of stuff and things. All right. So, we got all that going over there. Does this thing work? Can, stop. Will you? Another letter. Following reports number 37 to 39, which confirm that the mission is futile due to the lack of Y object, Amalu Corp aborts any works conducted in the area your orders are to evacuate the base all units are to report to board the plane at 12 o'clock on thursday any delays or evacuation at a different time are not taken into consideration all equipment is to be left in place that's good they put that in there in case you were just like yeah i'll just go later right it's no big deal uh once the members of the expedition return they shall undergo a year-long quarantine a year in which they agree to in their side contracts any attempts to avoid or shorten the period of the quarantine, refusal to undergo a test, or failure to submit final reports shall be treated as a breach of contract. You're not able to contact the media, contact with people outside, strictly specific group assigned to the project, contact with any research facilities, disclose any information regarding the task conducted by for a molecule. Breach of the contract or NDA will result in severe punishment. Severe. All right, so it doesn't look like this thing works right here. What do we got here? Dr. Smith. No, it's about me. Behavior is starting to spiral out of control. What did I do? The with his wife's health is disrupting the team's work. Once again, I want to make it clear that I don't have the professional knowledge to diagnose him. I feel like I suspect if I care that my wife is sick, that's important. Okay. Should I put him on medication? 
No. We have some sedatives on hand. Yes. Please advise. Oh, I almost forgot. I've packed all the specimens according to the new guidelines. I hope this time they will reach their destination without any problems. End of report. You did not put your log number, the time. Dude, this guy does not know how to make a report. All right, so any campfire ash over here? All right, so this guy over here, we've, we've explored that building. Is there a way into, oh, a little stick action. Is there a way into this guy over here? Oh, I think we saw some nuts. Let's check our HPs and stuff real quick. What do we have inside of here? Oh, dude, we're doing pretty good. We need a little bit of water, a little bit of carbs, canned milk, tuna. Whoa, whoa. We could use some energy. This might as well eat these guys right here like that. Nice. That's a little bit of carbs and a little bit of energy. Maybe we can go ahead and eat that guy. All right. So it doesn't look like we can get in over there. Oh, you know what? I should grab these, man. Because I do need fats. I don't know why I'm not doing that. Uh, I apologize. I need your shell, buddy. I'm so sorry. I know. I know. I feel terrible. All right. I need just the shell. So the tortoise meat, we can go ahead and destroy. Now, since it's raining right now. Oh, we got dirty. Well, the rain will wash us clean. Feels good, team. Campfire ash over here. There's cans here we can't grab. That's odd. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to drop this bet. Oh, I have two turtle shells, too. I accidentally killed a turtle I didn't need to kill. Can't get that guy. Grab that. All right. So over here. Can we get in here? Oh, we can. And we're in. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I hope it's clean water. It's not pee. Dude, a stick? Valuable stick inside of here? Required items. Infected blood sample. Whoa, this just got real, man. Dude, we found a thing. We found like a whole deal. Please insert test tube. Okay, recording. Dr. Smith, report number 27. There you go. Observations on Guanabana. A small tree in the Anonaceae family. Yellow and green heart-shaped flowers. Oval fruits up to 12 inches long, weighing on average 2.2 pounds. Covered in dark green skin with soft prickles. White creamy flesh with black seeds. Aw, soft prickles. Distinctive characteristics. Very tasty. I've collected samples of fruits, leaves, and bark. As with many other species, the natives use the guanabana fruit to make anti-parasite brews. I must repeat some tests to be sure, but so far, the evidence for antiviral, antibacterial, and even antidepressant properties is... very promising. I'm not sure if I should get our hopes up, but some of the plant substances can even destroy cancer cells. I want to what? keep my professional cool, but for the first time, I feel that we are actually close to discovering what we're looking for. Out of all the potential samples studied so far, I recommend conducting a thorough analysis on Guanabana first. End of report. Okay, Guanabana, very important. Fridge open. Open this one. Oh, infected blood sample. Dude, I got you. Right over here. Squirt it in. Okay, so this goes here. Insert no, test I just sample. Need the right sample. Insert test sample. All right, hold on. Let's have a look around here. Uh, more story. Dr. Smith, report number 26. I'm glad that you're numbering them now. On Quasia Amara, a shrub from the Simarubaceae family with compound inflorescence and small, long, intensely red leaves. Distinctive characteristics, its flower contains chemical compounds, quasin, among others, which make this shrub one of the most bitter plants in the world. Okay. The natives use it to make a brew for fevers and pain. Sounds delicious. Unfortunately, aside from this usage, I haven't found evidence of any other medicinal properties. Apart from its terrible taste, the plant doesn't have any other distinguishable features. Of course, a sample along with full biochemical analysis will be included in the nearest transport. End of report. Okay, so there was another plant. Dude, you know what? I forget what plant that was right now. I didn't listen to him that closely. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't seem to do anything. GW12 sample burn home. Do not... Touch. Oh, that's the one I think he was just talking about there. Quasi Amera, Guanabana, 
Uh, Banisteropsis. That's the, uh... Psychotria? Is that what that is? These are the things we use to make the ayahuasca. Okay. What do we got here? We remind you of your obligation to examine every unknown species and local fauna and flora. In the last transport, we only received a handful of flora. This is he's upset about the flora again. Yeah, we already read this. We already read that. We know all about that. Is there any more samples inside of here? Dude, drugs! N anything? Anything? No? No painkillers? Another letter. From Amalu Corp? Dr. Smith, we are aware of Dr. Higgins' difficult personality. I feel like I'm very mild-mannered. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but we'd like to remind you that it is impossible to continue the research without him. The goal of your mission is more important than any personal animosity. Please take into consideration that Dr. Higgins and his wife went through a lot and all the stress could have taken its toll on their nerves. We believe that you are able to ensure professional relations in the camp and guarantee that Dr. Higgins carries out his duties uh, in a conscientious, conscientious manner. Two samples in the last transport were broken, blah, blah, blah. Additional procedure, aside from two samples packed as usual, additional two samples are to be frozen. Okay. So, you have to deal with me. I'm a genius. All right, so, I'm confused. I don't see anything in here for a test sample. Can we just put stuff in there? No, can't put a Brazil nut in there. Can we put food in there? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. We're learning. And we're analyzing. Analyzing index data, half-life, ion, something, alkaline, whatever, base. Dude, that is really hard to read. Oh. Okay, okay, fail, okay, fail, fail, okay. Okay. All right. Well, it's not an unknown nut. Can we just put something else in there? Okay, we're analyzing. <laughs> uh... All right, we're almost done. Okay, okay, fail, okay, fail, fail, okay. All right, so I think it gives us kind of like, it's trying to find something. I don't, is there something in here that we missed? We have to fit something inside of there. We have to put something inside of there in order to figure something out. I don't think I missed anything in here. It was talking about the Guanabana deal over here. Uh, I don't, can I put a tea bag in there? <laughs> can I put coffee in it? Can I put tea bag in it? It looks like only stuff from the food container can go in. Military rations? Can I put an unknown mushroom? Okay. I got some different stuff. I'm gonna try some stuff and things out. Unknown fruit. Fail. What about this fruit? I found a different fruit. Okay, it's not that one. What about this mushroom? This mushroom. This mushroom. Fail. What about Psychotria? Fail. What about... A dead poison dart frog. Whoa, I can't fit a poison dart frog from this inventory over inside of there. Fail. Okay, so I can't find any of the stuff. The guana from Ranalana fruit. Uh, I don't know where that is. And uh, I looked all around for that in the area. Um, I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled. I did find some psychotria. It wasn't that. I uh, noticed there were some poison frogs in the area. I killed one of those. Uh, that doesn't seem to be it either. And so I feel like the answer to this question is not here. Uh, I think what we need to do now is head straight east. So let's take a look here and see this way so i think we need to head straight east because oh you know what if we're gonna need to do the acid trip thing hold on a second we're gonna need psychotria also it's gonna get dark i just have I, there was some over here there's some over there so i just grab those guys let's grab this let's grab this for energy you know what when we do the thing oh we can find the we can grab these guys right here the banisteriopsis stuff and things let's just see if there's any more of the blue mushrooms once we take the acid trip we'll have full stats so let's just go ahead and eat these guys for the energy for right now. It is pretty late, and we're going to have to sleep pretty soon. Let's go ahead and make our way over here to this new island or different island. And I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to have to make the ayahuasca again. Hopefully no caiman are around. Really, really hopefully. Hit! <laughs> 
All right, this has got to be the one. This has got to be the place right here. And then maybe somewhere on our journey here, we'll figure out what we're supposed to put in that sample analyzer deal. Figure out that, buddy. Is that another, like, uh, jungle Stonehenge deal? Dude, there's more poison dart frogs. You're dangerous. You're dangerous. We found another one, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we need to make a small fire. Okay, ember required. I got you. I got you, homie. Do we have any dried leaves? I'd like to use my bird's nest last. I don't want to use those if I can help it. We can always get dried leaves. It's no big whoop. All right, light her up. Put in the stuff. Here we go. Another ayahuasca adventure. <laughs> Whoa, is the pooping boy back? Where you at pooping boy? Oh, this dude, he's pooping. He keeps pooping. <laughs> Come back here, man. Oh, oh man. That hurts. Oh. Oh. Pooping boy. Dude, this is trippy, man. You know what the worst part about this disease is? The doctors gave me six months. How am I supposed to live my life when time is running out? How the fuck do I... I just... Anymore. I wake up next to you every day, knowing there's no future for us. I just can't take it. The pain? I want to end it and just be done. It feels like someone is holding my heart in an iron fist. And I can't breathe. Don't be a war. I just lie and look at you. All right, we're all the way in. Breaking news, the extraordinary discovery of Jake Higgins on CJ News TV at 11. All right, so what do we got over here? Medical summary, Mia Higgins, no cancerous changes found, underlying disease and complications, none. Conducted medical treatment procedure, CT scan of the chest didn't show any tumors in the lungs, lungs, trachea, and main bronchi normal. Blood test results unremarkable. Dude, she's fine. So why is she gonna die when she's fine? Dude, that sounds like Game of Thrones music. Will Jake Higgins' discovery save the world? Whoa, dude, hold on. Is this like a million, a lot? Wow, there's a lot of reading. There's a lot of story here. Uh, let me see. Would you do it again? Or was the price of healing me too high? Okay. Basically, what's going on is I brought the drugs from uh, the jungle back to Amalu Corp, and they made some sort of a medicine that heals cancer. Uh, I think it's can more than just cancer. I can't even remember. This little boy had leukemia. Yeah, so that's cancer, kid's cancer of the blood, I think. Um, I'm not a doctorologist. Uh, 
Amalacorp. Then they started giving away the drug for free in Brazil to everybody uh, who needed it. And then they started making huge amounts of money. That's basically what this all says. That's that's the synopsis for you guys. Because that was like a lot of reading. Uh, okay, head over here. Mia? Hey, Mia! I got a certificate of achievement. What? What price? What did Mia, I... no! What did I do? Tell me, please. Barely a year has passed since the Brazilian pharmaceutical company started working on a new revolutionary drug and the medicine in question is already uh, in use and being administered to patients. The world medical experts are outraged about this violation of procedures and express concerns over the safety. So they fast-tracked it. On Tuesday, the WHA officially condemned the actions of Amalu Corp, which introduced a new drug into the market at such a record-breaking speed. According to the WHA representative, it is impossible to conduct all necessary tests and adhere to international guidelines for new drugs in such a short time. <gasps> Meanwhile, the president of Brazil has offered his support to the company, indicating that the drug has been approved for sale by the appropriate registration office and has also added the gravely ill can't spare several years to wait for effective treatment. According to the CEO of Amalu Corp, the drug was examined and is safe to use is also said that uh, to be exceptionally efficient against cancer. Supposedly, the medicine leads to a complete and swift recovery while also preventing reoccurrence and metastasis, metastasis. Um, this is why it's rushed introduction into the market is supported by organizations from all over the world before a drug makes its way to patients. Okay, so they're saying, so the WHA says that the drug is, was put out too early, but Amalu Corp says they did all sorts of tests. So that's good. Dude, this is crazy. Whoa, what? Crap, I accidentally, whoa, no, don't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. More infection with new virus in Brazil. Over several dozen people died. I'm sorry I missed the other thing. I hit Q by accident. The hospitals are struggling to accommodate the incoming flood of patients. Initially, the sick were kept in isolation, but no hospital has a sufficient number of isolation wards for the uh, all the affected. Entire wards and even wings of the hospitals are being turned into quarantine zones. The efforts of the medical professionals may not be enough to prevent an outbreak. People in an advanced stage of the illness are found at homes, in the streets, and in public spaces, thus spreading the virus even further. So, Amalu Corp rushed the drug and said it was safe and now something else has happened poor sanitation everything's terrible several research teams are currently working independently to identify the virus at the same time a special investigation task force has been formed to determine the source of the cause of the outbreak the president of Brazil claimed that the situation is under control but is asking the citizens to follow strict safety stuff and things Brazil is on the brink of chaos Outbreak of unknown disease spiraling out of control. This was the only solution. Shutting down airports, seaports, and now this? They are isolating the entire continent. All right, so yeah, they, Brazil shut down its borders. The WHA got involved. Everybody's under quarantine. Oh yeah, and they built a wall. Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Hello? Am I dead? <laughs> How am I alive? Dude, this is a bad trip. Oh, dead bodies everywhere. Are those like favelas? You think? I think what? You think I was worth it? Whoa! Ah! 
inky blackness. Find a way to make a cure. Okay, we're behind the door. Grappling hook gun. Uh, doesn't look like you're gonna need this. Well, language, Alvarez. Language. Higgins, you piece of shit. Pick up that fucking call. Hello? You and that cunt. Whoa! Fucking frauds. I know you couldn't be trusted. I hope you die, scumbag. <laughs> Dude, anger problem. Jeez, man. I feel like he needs to go to anger management class. All right. So we found a grappling hook gun. Alvarez is dead. We took the ayahuasca and figured out all of that. And then now, I think... Wait, where am I going here? Let's take a look. West, south, east. Where is the building area? Over here, I think. I found it. We're back. Oh, the psychotry is back as well. All right, you guys. So let's pop inside of there. What do we got going on for statisticals right now? Everything's looking really good. A little bit of water from our tortoise shells that are right there. We can go ahead and eat that guy. All right, let's pop over here. You guys, we're getting a huge amount of story going on right now. Let's go ahead and save that guy. And we will save this guy. So what have we discovered so far today? Uh, I discovered a drug that cures cancer. Amalu Corp uh, bought it from me. Oh, you know what? Most likely to pay my bills because of my wife. Remember how Jake was like in financial distress before in the story? So we need money. He sold the, the cure to Amalu Corp. And then Amalu Corp gave it to everybody in Brazil for free. And then it created some sort of deadly virus and everybody started to die. Uh, now we have to find a cure. So inside of our book, let's take a look and see what our tasks are. Find Mia, find a way to make a cure. And we found a bunch of this stuff over in here too. Is there, uh, is this camp the Amala Corp for my vis visions? Words I can't even read. They were trying, so excited. They were trying to develop a medicine using this machine. The right ingredient needed to be found. Was I helping them? Everyone evacuated without the drug, but why? What did they miss? All right, so it sounds like they tried a lot of different things, and we're going to have to figure out what it is in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, big shouts to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon.com slash Slipgator in these trying times when YouTube no longer loves us. Thank you guys so much for keeping the lights on. Make sure if you like the video, please help us out. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. May the stuff and things be with you.